Hello everyone, welcome back to Reflections. So I hope you watched last week or this is not going to make any sense to you. So you're going to have to go back, scroll back to the last Wednesday and watch that video first because I left you with a cliffhanger. Um, so I was talking about asking God where you're supposed to be and being where you're supposed to be and all that stuff and being obedient and doing the weird things if he says call off at work or don't go to church or something weird, right? And what I was going to say is the best part of that. So I thought I'd make another video. So here you are. The best part of asking God about being obedient and showing up in the right place is the protection that you get out of that, right? So this does not mean that nothing bad can happen, okay? This does not mean that you are in some ultra invincible bubble or any of that. So don't take me that way and say like, well, if you just do every single thing that God tells you to, like nothing bad will ever happen to you. That's not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is there's a layer of protection when you are obedient, right? So you can walk in. If you say, God, can I go to church today? Or... God, can I go here or whatever? Like for me, for example, I told you, right? Like God's using me being sick to help me to learn to do this, right? And hopefully then I'll just be doing it on my own without being sick. I definitely will, God, promise. <laughs> but so if, if I ask God, for example, can I go to church today, right? Will you keep me from being sick? And he says, yes, go to church and I will keep you from being sick. I can then go to church in this freedom and this peace of knowing God's not going to let me be sick, right? God made me a promise. I asked God what I should do. God said, do this. I'll keep you from being sick. And then I know I'm safe. I'm under that covering of obedience and protection. And oh my gosh, what a great feeling. Like seriously, what a great feeling. Like wouldn't you want to have that? Don't you want to have that? Don't you want to eliminate some of the mystery out of like what's going to happen to you at any given moment? Like I do. I definitely do. I like knowing those things. I like being able to claim promises. I know we all like these people walk around and say, name it, claim it, and say all these things that you want to say and just make stuff up and whatever. Like, listen, you can claim scripture all day long. You claim it. You read it out loud. You can claim things that God has definitely said to you that you know are, are from God. You can claim that too, 100%. I literally, I was just telling a friend this, right? So there was a scripture. I'm going to read it to you. It's Jeremiah 33, 3. You've heard this maybe in another video, but it's, it's, it's exactly, I was telling my friend, like she was struggling with some things and trying to like understand and all this stuff. And I brought up this verse. I'm going to read it to you. All he says, this is God. He says, call unto me. I will answer thee. I will show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. I was like, read that verse. I'm like, read that verse, claim it, say it to God. Say, you said, call me. I'll answer you. I'll show you great and mighty things. I will show you what you don't know. Do it, mean it, have the right heart. And he has to do it. He has to do it. He's God. If he said it, he has to do it. Don't be a shyster. Don't be like, I want to know my neighbor's dirt. I want to know if my neighbor's sleeping with the other neighbor. No, that's not going to work. You got to have the right heart. You got to have the right intention. If you're trying to interpret scripture, interpret something, help somebody, love somebody, yeah, he's going to tell you. He's going to tell you. He has to do it. So, like, this is what I'm saying. You can claim these things. Like, if, if God tells me, go to church, I'm going to keep you from being sick. You better believe when the enemy starts to make me feel sick, I'm going to be like, uh, no. No. Nice try. Move along. And I've done it, and it works. Because God says it. It has to happen. The only way you can mess that up is if you walk away, right? If I, if I, walk, if I walk in there, and I'm, and I'm in that mode, and the enemy, like, tries with me, and I give in to the enemy, and I'm like, oh, Nope. God, God just, God just dropped me. I'm sick now. Well, guess what? I'm probably going to be sick. Cause I just, I, I just walked away from God. Like I just, I just lost my faith. I just didn't believe him. He said something and I said, no, you're just kidding. Like, that's not true. Well, yeah, he's going to let you be sick then. He's going to let the enemy do what he's doing. He's going to let the enemy tempt you. He's going to let the enemy do that. That's how you, that's how you grow faith. He's going to tell you these things. He's going to he's going to let you get sick. 
lets you get in the process of asking, lets you ask if you can go, t- tell you he'll promise you this, but then you have to like keep it. You have to then go, be obedient, and then believe it and like act on it and tell the enemy to stick it when he comes around. Literally, tell the enemy, get going. And he does. So that's the best part of asking God where you should be and being where you're supposed to be and being obedient and all that. You have a layer of protection and you have a layer of peace and comfort that you wouldn't have otherwise. I don't know. It's pretty cool. You should try it. So don't be like me. Don't get sick. And then have God force you into these things. Just do them on your own. Listen to me. Do the things. Ask God. Ask God what you're supposed to be doing and just do it. No matter how crazy it sounds. I promise. I've done some crazy things. And I've made some friends pretty annoyed. (laughs) Made people think I don't like them anymore and all the things. I'm like, no, listen, I'm just doing what God tells me to do. And it's worth it. It's paid off. The friends get it if they're good friends. They'll understand, and they'll love you more, and they'll pray for you, hopefully. Um, And it'll just be good. So be where you're supposed to be, be obedient, and enjoy your comfort and your protection out of it. Please share this video, guys. We don't have the same friends. I love you. God loves you. Have a great week.